Hello, hello, first grade. How are you? I hope you are doing well and enjoying this beautiful weather. Today is lesson 137 for Saxon Phonics, and it's another review lesson. Today, we are going to review final stable syllables. Why are final stable syllables called final? What does final mean? Final means at the end. It's at the end of the word. Very good. Why are they called stable? What does stable mean? Not a place where horses are. Stable means it doesn't change. And what makes them a syllable? Syllables have their own vowel sound. Very good. So when we look at the final stable syllables that we've learned this year, here are a few that have key words. We had bubble, bowl, ruffle, full, candle, dull, staple, Pull, bottle, toll, bugle, goal, and lotion, shun. Very good. So those final stable syllables had keywords. There are some final stable syllables that we didn't have keywords for. Here is the complete list that we have learned today. So let's go through and read the letters and then say the sound. B L E says bowl. F L E says full. D L E says dull. P L E says pull. T L E says toll. G L E says goal. C L E says coal. Can you think of a word that would have C L E at the end? Coal at the end? Maybe a family member named an uncle. K L E says coal. Hmm. What would end with this K L E? Ankle ends with K-L-E. We have S-L-E says soul. Can you think of a word that would have that? Hmm. I can't think one off the pop, top of my head. Maybe popsicle? No, that's coal. I don't know. <laughs> Z-L-E says zol, like puzzle. My son loves to do a puzzle. And then we talked about T-I-O-N says shun. Hopefully you came up with one for S-L-E. We don't see it very often. That's why we don't have a key word for it. Do you remember how we code final stable syllables? What do we do? We use a bracket. So I'm going to write uh, two of our keywords. I'm going to write bubble and staple. So final stable syllables are something that we should look for right away when we're coding words. So I see final stable syllable, B-L-E. We put a bracket. In this one, we cross out the silent E and we put our accent mark, right? And then we go back to the beginning syllable and this U is closed in, so we'll get a brief B -ub bubble. For the second word, we have final stable syllable, P-L-E, bracket, cross out the final E, accent mark. The A is open this time. There's nothing after it before the next syllable. So it is open, it needs a macron. St A, staple staple. Very good. So when you're spelling a word with a final stable syllable, you need to have a consonant 
follow the vowel to make a short sound. Like in bubble, this U is short. It needs another consonant, okay? Um, let's do one more word to code before we go to our worksheet. Let's see what I want to do. Ooh, that would be a good word. I'm not even going to tell it to you yet. You've got to help me figure it out with coding. This is a long word. Do you see the final stable syllable in this word? T-I-O-N. So we put a bracket, nothing gets crossed out here. I'm gonna go ahead and put my accent mark. Now, when we look back at the rest of the word, this C needs a K back. How many vowels do you see? Remember, we're not looking at the final stable syllable anymore. We have vowel A and vowel E. How many consonants in between? There are two right there. Divide right there between the Fs. The A begins the syllable, makes that schwa sound, the uh, uh. The E is closed in, so it will get a brief. Affection. Affection. That is another word for love, to show love. All right, great job with final stable syllables. Join me for our worksheet.